Sociology is not a science, it's pseudoscience. And anthropology isn't that great, but at least anthropology is backed up with hard evidence from things like um, biology and archaeology um, to, to, to give it some weight. The thing is, I'm the good cop. So I think we can guess what my role's going to be, can't we? So if you're familiar with my exploits recently, I've been doing a bi-weekly show with some of my friends called Blue Chat. And this gentleman was a guest. Apparently he has a few problems with the way he was treated on that show. Now I thought, sure, why not? I could put what I've got to say across to Ryan. He can <clears throat> clarify his position. Um and explain anything I may have misinterpreted and, you know, I can explain anything that um, he may be misinterpreting about things that I've said <clears throat> and have a sort of more constructive sort of interaction. And Ryan, I'd still like to do that with you, um, you know, over Skype maybe or in a uh, video call, you know, not, uh, not a live hangout, just like you and me just sit down um and just talk back and forth um respectfully to each other and air these um the, the these grievances and things like that and maybe we'd be able to move past them find some resolution um maybe come to some sort of mutual understanding um but that's not what this hangout ended up in i really don't think that would be the case and here's the reason why um, this is just a kangaroo court, pretty much. This is just a fucking bullshit show where we're getting talked over. Um, you guys are just pretty much holding the court um, at the moment. This is just... It, it, it's just a futile exercise. You guys are just sort of playing pigeon chess here. I mean, what the fuck's so, going on? So, nothing on the hit, or Jacqueline Glenn's general appeal to... What I would consider misogynist. So nothing on that. Just well, I, I, don't, I don't say how you can spend say... all your time complaining about how it's unfair, while at the same time I directly address your point. Like, what what's the point, guys? Why are we Why are we here? Well, no, I'm just making that point um, known. I'm also going to make the point known that sh you say that she um, talks a lot about how she's. Um, so. I'm talking I'm just, at the moment, Ryan. No, 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 Isn't it no, funny no, how you no, say, oh, no, so nothing, in the middle of my point? point. Like, like, I'm addressing your point, you fuckhead. I'm pretty sure any conversation with Chaswald is going to go somewhat like this, especially considering that when the person he's talking about isn't in the room, this is how he acts. I bet he watches his videos back some wanks. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Cause passive-aggressive to her there. Oh, and here comes the money. I think about what I say all of the time. I'm better than Jacqueline. Pay attention to me. You want as much fucking attention as Jacqueline Glenn gets, mate. Grow a set of fucking tits. Ryan, seriously, advice for you, mate. Stop taking yourself and your opinion so fucking seriously. Little crybaby. Like Doesn't he look like a boy band member <laughs> just after the fame? Who's one right? Him, I'm happy him in his little echo chamber. Him and the other little jealous haters. He is just so jelly. Ryan Wiley, you need to go to the jelly school, okay? Now, when I called uh, Chaswald out on his behavior and this sort of conduct, he gets very upset and says, oh, it's just jokes. It's just jokes. When you try to relay to him that... Uh, the perception of how other people may take that as baseless personal attacks, he doesn't like that characterization, and he'll just repeat over and over and over again that, oh, it's just jokes. No, it really isn't shit. It's making a valid point. I'm asking him okay. why he felt the need okay. to uh, unnecessarily criticize something that didn't need going into it. It's just arguing semantics. So I could turn to you and say, why did you find a need to say things like, I bet you Ryan watches his own videos and jerks off about them when he watches them and goes, ooh, I was because really passive aggressive. Because that's called a joke. Man. Do you not oh, know that jokes joke? exist? You can't, you can't yes. just disregard right, so anything point, by calling it a joke. Out. It's doubly funny when uh, he gets upset that you call out the way he communicates with people, seeing as he says things like this. I know. It's just, I mean, with communication, it's how the message is received, not how it is sent. 
okay, maybe they're jokes. But when you're sitting there critiquing someone's work and you start doing that, they look more like ad hominems, especially when you're using that as an argument to not watch this person's content. Of course, when uh, I speak of anything in the academic circles, I don't expect this man to know much of anything at all, seeing as, uh, at least in my opinion, he's very much an anti-intellectual. If you've seen uh, Mr. Richard Firth's video on uh, sociology and Chaswald's brief proclamations that sociology is pseudoscience, uh, I would assume that he would say the same of psychology as well, seeing as the two are both seen as uh, quote-unquote soft sciences. Um, yeah, I'm sorry, and I've heard him talk about um, economics, and he doesn't know it all. <laughs> and in fact, stuff they teach in economics these classes, in economics classes these days, hasn't been true of how the banking systems work for like the last 40 years. I just... I wonder why he thinks he has like some sort of an authority to talk about these subjects that he's he's obviously not educated in. Because yeah. of the, the so the the invention of the gun led to the invention of streetlights. Even better, he'll use statements from these uh, so-called soft science fields that he believes are pseudoscience to support his arguments against other people, even though he doesn't really understand what those. Uh, scientific theories or sociological and psychological theories actually are the the problem with your argument now is that you've got the sort of like the dunning kruger effect you're judging yes, thank you, you for calling hold on, hold on, me hold on, stupid hold on. so no, no i'm not awesome. calling you stupid no, 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 you that's, that's, that's no the dunning -Kruger i never effect. said that well, let, let him go you, let him go yeah okay okay Unreal. uh because you're then um the arbiter which judges what you think um Jacqueline Glenn's um, level of intelligence and knowledge on certain uh, issues is, and then you are assuming that your knowledge um, must be far superior to that. Because of the Dunning-Kruger effect, we are the worst things by which to measure ourselves and the world around us. We are fallible. We are controlled by things like biases. Fucking lulzy. That's That's all there is to say about this guy. What I think is even funnier is uh, he complained about the hangout we did, and he said that he didn't get a chance to talk or make his points. And uh, when I ran the numbers, starting at 3.08, which is when the event really kicked off in the recording of it, ending at 57.08 when his connection mysteriously dropped out, which uh, I'm not sure if he rage quit or not, seeing as in a subsequent discussion the following night he, uh, he rage quit again. He had 14 minutes, 38 seconds worth of talk time, encompassing 27% of that entire time period. The next person behind him was myself, as from the ones I tracked, which would be myself, Ryan, and Chaz. I had 11 minutes and 7 seconds at 20%, and Ryan had 8 minutes, 15 seconds at 15% of the 54-minute period. And there was nothing more than, it was mainly sceptical heretic and blue chat derailing the conversation half the time. Um, they all just sat there and made snide remarks. I did make a few back, but I mean, it wasn't a constructive way in which things were dealt with. And the reason why is actually to do with people like the sceptical heretic. Now, I've spoken to him after that. The nicely, nicely approach of having a, uh, a genuine conversation doesn't work with these people. That's not their social currency. Pretty sure... Uh... Chaz had ample time to get his point across. He just, uh, well, maybe if he didn't derail the conversation so many times talking about unrelated things, we would have actually gotten further. A racist and didn't like the fact that these other men were getting what he felt was entitled to him as a half-breed, so to speak. But it, it, the whole thing still smacks of misogyny. That and, you know, honestly, people don't look at World War II and the Holocaust and say, well, the Germans killed more Russians than Jews. Precisely, yeah. Okay, um, let's, try, let's try an example, yeah? Let's say I'm a massive racist, yeah? Let's yeah. say I was a racist, okay? And I nice. hate black people and Mexicans, okay. as an example, yeah? Um, and I call Barack Obama an, an Edward on Twitter. Yeah. Okay. Um, 
Am I only racist against black people? I don't understand how that's even related to what we're talking about. Let's listen to him cry some more. Um, what people like the Skeptical Heretic and these other um, clowns like to do is they'll sit there and they won't think of the argument that you're making. Um, what they'll do is they'll sit there and go, um, oh, he used this one word, and then they'll do the dishonest thing, and a lot of people do this in so-called online debates. Well, clarify this specific point for me. This to that point also, uh, I don't think that Ryan is making this evaluation completely in a vacuum. I don't no. think that he's up his own ass when he's saying, you know, hey, I don't think she's really well informed on issues like feminism or politics or economics. That or word being there, I don't think. Uh, well, no. I'm see now. Are you going to take halves of sentences and start repeating them back to me as though they're arguments? Um, they will constantly mischaracterize your argument. Now you can go and watch the blue chat and uh, take a drink every time Ryan says, "I think you're mischaracterizing my arguments." It's kind of funny. That's why I think this boy is uh, projecting more than a movie theater. And I think. Uh, well, at this point in time, there's really not much else to do other than close it out with a song performed by the one and only Chaswald Almighty. Pompous, lumpus, dimpity dum, I've just pulled this shit from my bum. Pompous, lumpus, dimpity dee, you are wrong if you don't agree. What do you get when you act subjectively? You will get a sense of honesty. What are you doing trying to constructively interact? Who really cares about the facts? They don't appeal to my feels. Pompous, lumpus, dumpity da. If you are arrogant, you will go far. You will live in ignorance too, like the pompous, lumpus, dumpity do. Pompous, lumpus, dumpity doo. Thank you very much.